It's easy to forget now what a huge landmark disaster the tsunami in 2004 was. Not really being able to get 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 one's head around um, just um, this, the magnitude of the destruction. First couple of uh, hours after the earthquake, we didn't realize where is the uh, uh, center. Gift to Asia promotes philanthropic investment to Asia by working with um, donors ranging from corporations to individuals to family foundations. We decided we needed to do an assessment on the ground to really get a, a clear understanding of what the long-term recovery needs were. Uh, and what we saw was a, a strong need for helping people get back to school, helping people get back to work, and some of the permanent rebuilding and social services that had basically been wiped out by the wave in Aceh. When we responded to the tsunami in 2004, there wasn't a history of, of disaster response at Give to Asia, but there was a network uh, of partnership across Asia that made us really well placed to move into that space. We were one of the few organizations who knew local groups in all of the affected countries. So not only in Indonesia, but also in Sri Lanka, in Thailand, in India, GiveTasia already had a network of organizations who were on the ground working in fields as diverse as education and environment and health and livelihood. That became the model for what we were doing in later disasters that we funded. Most of the other INGOs that respond uh, have a, have a top-down model. They focus on immediate relief and they bring in a lot of supplies and volunteers. Um, but what GiveTasia was able to do was identify the groups that were already doing that work and give funding directly to them. It cuts down on overhead, it gets money directly into the hands of local responders, um, and it really does help build overall civil society within the country. Our network in Asia, I feel, is our greatest strength, really. A network of advisors and consultants on the ground and um, just the pool of groups that we've worked with in, you know, over the years. So now here we are 10 years later. Uh, we went back and visited some of our partners. We went back and visited the communities that we'd funded. When I visited uh, Aceh, I learned that the sense of ownership uh, is bigger. The relation with the beneficiaries continues after the project ended. And I think that's also the, the uniqueness of what uh, gives Asia funding at the time. It really makes a difference in terms of, uh, you know, the, the commitment of the partners in implementing uh, the project. Kita lihat memang setelah 10 tahun tsunami itu masyarakat Aceh sebahagian besar kita lihat dengan kasat mata mereka sudah ada kemajuan-kemajuan. Awalnya kegiatan ini 240 orang lebih. Jadi 120 orang untuk membuat susu kedelai dan 120 orang untuk membuat tempe. Kita lihat manfaatnya ini banyak sekali sebenarnya ya. Banyak sekali kegiatannya yang apa yang kami lakukan pada saat uh, mendapat bantuan dari Gift to Asia. Antara lain kita uh, melakukan pelatihan-pelatihan seperti perbengkelan. Nah, kemudian juga ada uh, pelatihan akunting dasar ya kepada masyarakat anak-anak muda yang ada di lingkungan kita dan ini sangat dirasakan eh, manfaat bagi masyarakat lingkungan bantuan daripada eh, Gift to Asia ini sangat-sangat membuat semangat hidup bagi masyarakat kita yang ada di sini What we're trying to do is build or catalyze uh, philanthropic investment in disaster risk reduction. Indonesia is one of the most vulnerable countries in the world to disaster. Floods are really the most common uh, occurrence across Indonesia. Aceh, khususnya Aceh Utara, misal saya katakan konteks ini, nyo tip tu nayo nabanjir. Bahkan daerah nayo sendiri di kuno nyo tip nyo ujian berat nyo akan akan banjir di kecamatan Matangkuli, kecamatan Pirak Timu, segala macam nyo tip tu banjir. 
banjir. Jadi nyangka semacam tradisi rutin mereka ketika bulan-bulan uh, mulai September mereka sudah siap-siap untuk mengungsi dan sebagainya. But the disasters that you really need to be concerned about are the ones that you can't predict. Since 2004, an average of 1 million people in Indonesia have been impacted by a disaster every year. Um, and every year like 1.5 billion dollars of GDP are lost to disasters. Yang menurut Eun juga menjadi semacam fokus Tayong Uke bagaimana masyarakat yang najino atau pemerintah membangun konteks pemikiran pemerintah bukan hanya maaf selamanya long kalen lebih love aksi-aksi untuk uh, bencananya adalah aksi setelah bencana truk. Ketika truk bencana ada BNPB yang akan bawa uh, boat dan sebagainya. Tapi ki bancara masyarakat dipersiapkan langgo bencana nya sangat kurang. If you are if you're addressing a long-term disaster recovery, you really need to be thinking about not only what do we need to do to meet the immediate needs right now, but also what is this community vulnerable to and what is it going to need the next time a disaster comes. Um, it's just not enough to uh, you know, rebuild a house, you need to make sure that that house can also withstand the next storm or the next flood. The funding really only comes when a disaster strikes. So you get a large influx of funding when a volcano erupts or when the 2004 tsunami happens. But even after the media is gone and after all that funding has dried up, um, there are local organizations across Indonesia and specifically in Aceh that are working to address um, the long-term needs of, of disaster mitigation, of disaster risk reduction, of preparedness, and of ensuring that um, rural communities especially are safe. Jadi, ketika pun banjir datang, banjir teruk, uh, akibatnya akan lebih kurang, terharapkan menang, Kak. Uh, it's really taught us in terms of what should our focus be really. In the past it's mostly been a sort of uh, immediate response but we have now moved on to um, recovery as uh, our core strategy. I think for Agis Asia, working directly with the communities gives the things that really works on the ground, uh, gives that flexibility. We do have relationships across Asia Pacific in every country where we work. Um, we have strong partnerships that we've forged over the years and so there aren't a lot of other organizations who are placed to be able to do the type of work that we do and to be able to look at disaster response in the way that we look at it. There are also a lot of uh, local NGOs uh, built by the local agencies. I think the challenge is now how to maintain this infrastructure uh, continuing the development, uh, especially for the people, but work still needed in terms of uh, building the com community, economic development, increasing their uh, livelihood activities. Hal-hal lagi yang menurut Lon, karena Acehnya kaya. Acehnya kaya dengan laut, kaya dengan utun, kaya dengan tanah yang luah. Tapi menurut Lon, kapasitasnya yang perlu di uh, ditingkatkan. Bahwa orang Aceh harus tak akui bahwa ketika hal orangnya ke tsunami kasih belatun, uh, lumpikinya uh, akan lebih kuat dibanding sebelum ini.